and that was the major setback that i was having at that time i was thinking like this 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 will not go by like very far for me Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another interview with another very special person, Chirag. He's currently pursuing his master's. Actually, he graduated already and he's currently pursuing his career uh, in Meta as a software engineer. But he studied uh, master in computer science from RIT and that's what we are going to learn from him uh, today. But before we do that, definitely would love to hear a little bit about you, uh, Chirag. So, hello everyone, I'm Chirag and I'm from India. Uh, I am from Uttar Pradesh, Meerut, and it it has been a very good ride for me. Uh, totally uh, changing my life after coming to US and pursuing masters. So I gave JRE and, and I had a score of three hundred ten with a IELTS score of seven point five. And I came here uh, to pursue masters. I did my undergrad in electronics and communication, which was a kind of a setback because I was not knowing. some of the basic nuances for the coding but yeah uh, this this is my background and now i am graduated as nathan already told you and i am pursuing my career in meta as a software engineer got it okay. now, as you said uh, uh, you were from a ec background and a lot of people from ec background want to actually come and pursue computer science right so the first question i want to ask you is uh what are those different colleges which you applied to which were actually accepting people from you know non cs background for cs course uh i'm pretty sure you must have got few admits uh and walk us through process of how you shortlisted rit oh so uh, actually i as i said i got admits from few colleges some of them i can remember it was from syracuse university and it was uh illinois institute of technology chicago and one was from rit uh, actually uh, i was pretty late on starting this application process so there there were only limited uh, institutes which were open for the application mm -hmm. but the major point that i chose rit because because of solid uh, curriculum uh, that they are having uh, i was i had the admit from syracuse university also it is also one of the uh, like best university but uh, the major uh, uh, thing that i was thinking about was that rit offers scholarships if you score good in your uh, curriculum so the only thing that i was aiming for uh, syracuse did give me a uh, scholarship of 10% but uh, then i thought uh, if i go to rit i can bag an uh, like uh, scholarship of 40% up to 40% and they are they are also very good in uh, supporting the co-op culture within the company one question i wanted to ask was so from your uh, profile perspective right what was your uh, gpa let's say in your undergrad and did you had any experience uh, in the cs field uh actually i had decent gpa i i graduated from jp institute of technology noida so i had 7.4 gpa but and i i also worked in infosys for almost 2 years but mm -hmm. i was not mm -hmm. having the i would say like i was not having the concrete experience in the term of software engineering and software development i was test engineer in infosys Got and yeah, and that was the major setback that i was having at that time i was thinking like this 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 will not go by like very far for me so the i can remember there was one of the instance like uh, that the people in my team were talking about hash map and i was thinking what is this what actually hash map is so then i googled it and then i got to know oh there is lot more to learn for me so then i thought okay now this is the time that i need to go uh, and pursue masters so yeah that was an eye, an eye opener for me and i came here for masters got it got it <laughs> now uh, think about the next step uh, once people finalize the university i think one of the first thing that they start evaluating between their admits is the overall cost of education right so uh, what is the total tuition fees for uh, you know rit and in general on an average what are your 
expenses over a month and then we can calculate it over a period of two years. So, um, like, I would say, uh, like, I already told that if, if, if a person is scoring good in RIT, then they will get scholarship up to 40%. Mm-hmm. So, uh, mm-hmm. like, by God's grace, I was able to score and I got 40% scholarship in my first semester. And that was like a major breakthrough. Uh, so then uh, for me, the entire tuition fee was costing about $43,000, which, mm-hmm. which is very really less in comparison to other uh, institutes if I would have gone there even with scholarship. So I think like choosing RIT was one of the best decisions that I made. And then if we talk about uh, the expenses, living expenses, then living expenses will cost around, like actually it depends on the person, how lavishly he wants to live. But mm-hmm. on an average, mm-hmm. I would say uh, you can get a decent apartment, single room in $500. And then if you are thinking of groceries, then $100 and utilities, then hundred like 50 to $100. Then you can live uh, peacefully in a single room uh, in $700. Got it. Got it. So uh, $18,000 for two years. Now the $43,000 which you said uh, for your uh, tuition fees, is that with considering 40% uh, as a, a scholarship? So I would assume yeah. that without that scholarship, let's say if someone doesn't get the scholarship, it would be around 80 to 90K, right? Uh, About 72 for two years? For two years? Um, yeah, it will be about 65,000. Yeah. Got it. About 65,000. Yeah. Got it. So about 65,000 for tuition fees and about, I would say, 15 to 18K for, uh, you know, uh, your living expenses. Yes. Right. Uh, now, once people know the tuition fees, uh, the next thing that they would want to know is uh, different ways to, you know, reduce that fees. Uh, and yeah. we already talked about the scholarship. So share about how someone who, let's say now is considering to come to RIT for fall 23 can qualify for this scholarship. What are some of the tips and tricks? Uh, if not scholarship, how is the situation with on-campus job in RIT? Uh, if someone gets TA or RA, does that wave off some part of your tuition fees? Uh, if you can share about these things. Yeah, so uh, there, as you said, like there are many other ways we can drop our tuition fees. So one of them is scholarship that I already talked, and other is TAs. So uh, if we are getting a TA, uh, especially in computer science department, then it will wave off our seventy percent of our tuition fee. So seventy percent of the tuition fee will be waived off if you are getting a TA, but it's not the case with the RA. Mm-hmm. So if you are getting an RA, that actually depends. Like they have mixed so much during the COVID time that uh, all the TAs and RAs are under one umbrella now. So all of them are called TAs. But there there are only limited jobs for those people who will get the 70% scholarship. And um, if, if we talk about different ways, then I would say the best thing to uh, get your fees paid is by doing an internship. I completed uh, I completed my CPT with one year of CPT. I complete, I utilized it all. And that was one of the advantage that gave me to uh, pay my fees by myself and not just depending on the student loans that people think that because it is huge loan on the head and they are very burdened by that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and now if we talk about the part-time jobs, part-time jobs are like plentiful in the uh, like department. So uh, first thing that comes into every person's mind is dining. Dining jobs are like abundant. Uh, every person can get that. But I would say uh, like this is this is a trick that I learned after coming after 1.5 years. So this might help you guys because. Uh, there is there is an app simplicity for the RIT, and that simplicity app has all the jobs that people are looking to like give to the people. So uh, there are so many professors, there are so many other departments that people want to have, and 
they will just post an update for the job requirement and if you will just uh, upload your resume and uh, you just need to tap a button that i want that i am interested in that job then they will contact you and if they are contacting you you can just give an interview and if they are shortlisted then yes it is a very easy job for you compared to dining got it got it, got it, got it. Really, uh, really uh you know and guys whoever is watching uh, imagine if you also figured this out after 1.5 years right in your master this is huge you know and uh, definitely uh, leave a comment in the comment section below about this uh, but moving on to the next part of your masters uh, chirag which is uh, uh, the curriculum itself right so how is the curriculum for cs at rit uh, what are those courses which are uh, highly recommended or highly sought after uh by students uh, which actually prepare you for you know industry for the job market in us so uh, actually i would say like uh, every person who is watching i'm treating you as like you are way more knowledgeable than me because i was here i, I didn't know what for loop is when i came over here i was such a noob but uh, if i'll say then uh, first most important thing is the bridge courses that rit is offering under cs department so that will open up your brains you will get to know mm-hmm. basic oops like object oriented programming and you will get to know uh, data structures so mm-hmm. that is something which is highly required whenever you are going to an industry so first and the foremost thing is uh, even if they are asking you that you can drop on the bridge courses because uh, we know that you know everything i would say just say no we will get that course because it is super important second uh, there is an algo course which is like kind of compulsory for all the people mm-hmm. and it is something that everyone should know so uh, if a person is for, uh, like pursuing computer science in rit then he or she will take that course then third important thing that i personally feel is data management data management is very 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 important aspect in current industry because uh, every industry is full with data and they know they should know how to store and how to manage that data so and uh, this is something which is very important uh, and which is very strongly founded by rit they they also have their data science mm-hmm. uh, certificate which you can get uh, which is also like uh, will be a gem in your uh, showcase uh, and i would say there are two courses which are highly i would say highly recommended one is uh, big data analytics and intro to big data so intro to big data i took it under uh, professor meyer michael meyer you can search him you can ask him you can ask for research what he is doing professor michael meyer he is he is very very informative person uh, he, he can give you so much of information and other person uh, like thomas kinsman professor thomas kinsman i think he is a doctor i am sorry if he is watching this video but uh, dr thomas kinsman uh, he is also like very informative person you you can you will surely learn a lot from those got it got it Thank you for sharing these um, curriculums, uh, you know, and these different specific subjects, Chirag. Uh, now, just on a similar line, this one question which I wanted to ask uh, about just like CS, right? What are some of the other measures in RIT which are really famous or which are really good? And you would see, you see a pattern that okay, people generally come to RIT for CS, and then what are those other two or three majors which are famous? Uh. so what i see like people uh, i have seen people following it and software engineering mm-hmm. so ms it and software engineering is also like they, they are also like very kind of famous and uh, one other course was there it was uh, computer doc uh, actually i'm not remembering exactly it was compute uh, it was something related to computer but uh, it was it was a very famous course and lots of people were coming inside Uh, that course but uh, some of the major courses are ms cs uh, ms software engineering and ms it got it got it understood uh, now moving on to the last part of the uh, today's conversation uh, internships and full time jobs 
so how is the situation with internships and full time jobs with uh, your colleagues or uh, your classmates your seniors do generally people get internships and where are they getting internships uh, if and same for full time jobs um so i would say like there are lots of opportunities and rit is having a very good market reputation uh, and as i am talking about market reputation like lots of people from rit are working at very good companies mm-hmm. and they like recruiters from big companies tend to get towards rit students so uh, it is not something that you will not get an interview opportunity from big companies uh, you will get it it usually depends on the person who is getting and who is getting what but uh, i would say like lots of people in my group that i knew they all got employed none of them was there which I, which i was thinking that he, he he didn't get the job everyone got an internship everyone got the full time and uh, most of them are uh, employed by fang companies mm-hmm. so uh, there are some of my people who are employed by amazon by apple by microsoft and uh by google so everyone is there yeah got it got it now we are almost at the end of our conversation uh, but this is one question which i generally ask everyone uh, who i talk to is looking back at, back at your journey of two years what are those uh, two or three things that you would do differently if you would to if you had to do your masters all over again in rit um first and the foremost thing that i would say like i i will come prepared because i was not having any knowledge how how i can get into the computer science course because uh, i didn't have any experience so uh, i would come prepared because uh, i was actually lagging behind by a month <laughs> because i had to learn new things I, i was like into so much into coding that i was not understanding how the pointer is working so the first thing that i would come prepared and the second most thing like i would say you need to be very strong you're coming so much far away from your family but yeah that's all got it got it uh, thank you so much for taking out time today i am pretty sure all of the things that you shared uh, will help everyone who is watching and guys whoever is watching definitely share your favorite uh nugget from this conversation in the comment section below uh chirag you did get a full time job in meta so uh, hopefully we'll make another video sometime in future uh, you know for everyone who is watching uh but with that uh, great uh, it was really great having this conversation with you chirag thank you so much for taking out time um uh, uh, that's all we had for today uh but i'll for everyone who is watching i'll see you in the next video